What's up guys, my name is Mark Steiner and today we are going to be comparing the AirPods Max to the Sony XM4s. Let's get right into it. Let's start with the physical design of these headphones. The AirPods Max have a very different design language than anything else on the market and are instantly recognizable. The ear cups and telescoping headband are completely made of metal and the top part of the headband is this nice silicon mesh material which is very comfortable on the head. Whereas the Sony's are made almost entirely of high quality plastic with a little bit of metal in the headband. Because of that, the AirPods Max take the win with the overall build quality However, this does actually play into a little bit of a detriment here. Because they're this high quality metal, they are significantly heavier than the Sony's, and the Sony's, because they're made of plastic, are significantly lighter, and you can feel that on your head. That weight difference on the head is immediately noticeable, and although I got used to the weight of the AirPods Max on my head during testing, whenever I switched the XM4s, it was just like, oh my god, these are so much more comfortable and lighter, and it's just, you can wear them for far longer than the AirPods Max. So even though the AirPods Max take the win with overall build quality, I'd say in real world use and comfort, the Sony's actually take the win. The ear cup cushioning of the AirPods Max is made of this nice mesh material with memory foam on the inside. It's very comfortable and very breathable and very deep. For people who have experienced their ears getting warm after long listening times on other headphones, and people with big ears are really going to appreciate these big, large, comfortable mesh ear cups on the AirPods Max. However, because I have small ears and have never really had this warming of the ears problem on my Sony XM4s, I personally prefer the Sony XM4s. They fit better on my ear, they're more comfortable, and they feel cushier to me. Whenever I was wearing the AirPods Max, if I was sitting very still, I wouldn't really have any issue, but the second you start walking around or going outside, you, they feel too big on my head. I have smaller ears, I have a smaller head, I have a very angular head, and because of that, they just don't fit the same way that I like with the XM4s. The XM4s just fit my head much better. And I think that comes down to the overall design and profile of these headphones. If you look at the XM4s, they have a much slimmer overall design, whereas the AirPods Max have a much broader design. So I think they're built for people with larger heads. The Sony XM4s feature a more traditional clicking size adjustment method, whereas the AirPods Max have a telescoping method. At first, I was a little bit worried that the telescoping method of the AirPods Max would not be very nice and that would it get loose over time, but it's actually a very sizable force that you need to pull it out, and I've had no issues out in the world while walking, and it felt very comfortable, and I didn't feel like they were elongating over time. For me, there's no real winner between the two size adjustment methods, but I think for me personally, I like the clicking method better because you're getting a guaranteed 100% symmetrical adjustment on both sides versus the AirPods. You're never gonna be able to dial in that exact symmetrical thing, but it doesn't really matter because it's on your head and it fits well. The Sony XM4s feature two physical buttons, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, as well as a USB-C charging port. You have your power on off button as well as your custom function button. That custom function button can be mapped to trigger either your assistant, transparency mode, or adaptive noise cancelling. You can also choose which assistant these headphones are going to be using, Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. No Siri support though. On top of the physical buttons of the XM4s, you also have the touchpad on the right ear cup. While this is super convenient, it's not always the most accurate thing in the world. The Sony's also feature a proximity sensor on the left ear cup so they know whether or not they're on your head. The AirPods Max, on the other hand, have a proximity sensor in each ear cup, so an even more accurate sense of whether or not the headphones are actually on your head. The AirPods Max also feature two physical buttons on the headphone. You have the digital crown, which is a bigger version of what we have on the Apple Watch, and you're gonna use this for volume, play stop, next song, previous song, as well as accepting calls. The other button on the headphone triggers adaptive noise canceling or transparency mode, and this is actually the best implementation of a transparency mode I've seen in headphones, far superior to that of the XM4s. This next part is where the AirPods Max takes some massive L's against the XM4s. There is no power on off button, you have to put them back into this stupid case if you want to save battery life. And the headphones do not feature a 3.5 millimeter jack, or a USB-C port. It features a lightning port, which is the most annoying port on the face of this planet, and I don't know why Apple didn't put a USB-C port on these headphones. So because there's no power off button on these headphones, you're going to be draining battery no matter what. So if you take them off your head and put them around your neck, they're still on full power using full battery and just draining that battery life 
which really sucks. On my Sony XM4s, if I take my headphones off, they automatically power off in 15 minutes if they notice that they're not on my head, and I can manually turn it off to save battery life if I know I'm not going to be using them for a long period of time, and they can just sit on my neck knowing that they're not wasting battery life. With the AirPods Max, you don't get that. So what I found in my personal use is that if you're not going to be going out with these headphones on your head the entire time with no plans to take them off whatsoever, they just drain battery life and that's a huge bummer. And what that also means is that you're going to have to bring this stupid case with you everywhere if you wanna save battery life. This case is just the stupidest thing Apple has ever made. It literally serves no purpose on these headphones. It doesn't protect them because it keeps the most vulnerable part open. It doesn't line up with the lightning port. It doesn't help charge them in any way. It's just this stupid piece of silicon that actually enables it to go into low power mode. That's dumb. And then because these headphones don't fold and don't have an actual good protective case, I don't feel good putting them in my backpack. First off, they're far too big and take up way too much room, and secondly, I don't want to damage them because they're not well protected. Sure, the build quality might be better because of that metal, but I have a feeling in the long run these ear cups are already banging against each other and there's going to be scuffing that's going on in the long run, so that's just something to think about with these headphones, that they're not very user friendly in that sense. They're not travel friendly. And that that's kind of a huge bummer because now I have to bring this case along with me and make room for it in my bag. And they're just so big and obnoxious that when I was filming this review, I actually did what the stupid ad that Apple had. I actually held it like a purse. And that was the best way to transport these because they are too big to put in any bag. I didn't want to put this in my 30 liter backpack because this takes up way too much space. My Sony XM4s, on the other hand, are already smaller, and I can fold them up like this. They come with a nice protective case, so if I'm doing long haul travels on planes, I can bring them there like that. But if I just wanna put them like this in my backpack, that's a much smaller footprint, and I'm not worried about chipping or breaking them when I put them in my bag. So Apple, I don't know what the hell you were thinking with this headphones case. I'm all right with it not folding, but allow us to turn it off and get rid of this dumb case. Either give us a nice protective case or just get rid of this. This literally serves no purpose than to annoy everyone on planet Earth. The Sony XM4s can be customized quite a bit in the app on your phone, so you can change your sound profile as well as map the custom function button and turn off other smart features if you so wish, which I really love. Having that control over your headphones and how they sound is a very nice, important thing. The AirPods Max, on the other hand, have absolutely no customization whatsoever. What you see is what you get, and the only real customization you get is turning adaptive noise canceling off or switching between transparency mode or noise canceling on off. So that's about it. You can choose to toggle the spatial audio feature of the AirPods Max, which is one of the key headlining features of these headphones and why most people might be interested in buying them. In my experience, it feels like a nice theater surround sound system and it sounds really good and very immersive, but you know, I don't think this is a reason to buy these headphones unless you're going to be consuming a lot of TV shows and movies on your iPhone or iPad that are also compatible with that surround sound. So certain things on Netflix or Disney Plus like The Mandalorian or certain Apple movies that you download, they're going to be compatible and that's going to be a really, really immersive experience. And that's totally worth it if you want that kind of viewing experience. But I think that most people want that kind of experience when they're watching it on a very large and nice TV. So hopefully that support comes to the Apple TV in the near future, because I think that's where these headphones would really thrive as like a home theater system on your head. But let's get to the two most important features about these sets of headphones in my personal opinion, active noise canceling and how they sound. The Sony XM4s for so long have been the king of active noise canceling. That's why they are so popular. They do everything right, they have the best noise canceling and they sound so good in a nice convenient package. Now in my testing, the AirPods Max have a very nice pleasing active noise canceling. It's a very natural, there's no like real hiss or pressure. There's a little bit of that on the XM4s, but not much compared to other headphones that I've tested in the past. The AirPods Max have a very nice, pleasing active noise cancelling. In certain circumstances, I'd say it beats the XM4s, but in other circumstances, the XM4s beat it outright. 
let me explain. So with the XM4 noise canceling, you're getting a across the board noise canceling that's very consistent and stays the same no matter what you're doing, where you are, your environment, it blocks it out and you know what to expect. And if you move your head, you're not getting any weird pumping in of noise or whatever. It blocks out everything. It's very aggressive. It sounds great. It blocks out the world. With the active noise canceling on the AirPods Max, it does a very good job in certain circumstances. And I can tell when it's working. It's really funny, and I've noticed this a lot in my testing. When I use the active noise canceling, if you move forward, it'll actually block out different noises. So if I'm back here and there's a loud noise over there, it's going to block out that loud noise. But then if I move forward, it's going to let more of that loud noise in and not block it out, which is really weird because I was on a ferry and I was just like moving my head and you could hear the engine of the ferry when I move forward and you couldn't hear it at all when I move back. So clearly it's trying to analyze the sound around you and compensate for that and it doesn't do the best job when that happens. So that's why I prefer the more consistent across the board noise canceling of the XM4s because it just blocks out everything. With the AirPods Max, in ideal certain circumstances, it blocks out things better than the XM4s, but it also lets in more than the XM4s in other circumstances. So I'm not the huge fan of the active noise canceling on the AirPods Max. What I am a huge fan of though, is the transparency mode. This is by far the best implementation I've ever seen on any headphones. The transparency mode actually makes me wanna use it. With the XM4s, you have the hand over the right ear cup to activate transparency mode if you so wish, and that just like pumps in artificial sound of what's around you and it's overwhelming and it doesn't sound good. And honestly, whenever that happens, I just pause my music and take my headphones off because I don't enjoy that experience at all. With the transparency mode on the AirPods Max, I found myself using it all the time. Sure, I'd still have to pause my music or turn it way down, but the transparency mode allowed me to like actually listen to the world in an enjoyable way, almost with my own ears. It felt like I didn't have my headphones on. So I was having full conversations with people with these headphones on and it was enjoyable. I went into the store to buy something and I triggered transparency mode, had a conversation with the clerk, paid for my thing and left. And that I think for these short bursts of conversations, transparency mode on the AirPods Max wins hands down. Now, the biggest thing that people wanna know about is how do these headphones sound? I've been using the XM4s for quite a few months now and I really love the sound that's coming out of it. It works for what I like to listen to. And at first, I was really disappointed with the sound coming from the AirPods Max. I thought for the price point, these would be something absolutely mind blowing. And they're not. They're not mind blowing. They're not life changing. You're not going to be rediscovering your music with these headphones. That being said, they sound great. I would say that the Sonys are definitely more bass heavy, more punchy that way, but the AirPods Max are a little bit more neutral, not neutral by any means, but not as bass heavy and the clarity was a lot better on the AirPods Max. The AirPods Max just sounded cleaner, more clear, tighter. Like everything was just that, that little bit, little bit better overall. I will say that the vocals on the AirPods Max are so nice, so nice. Like it really felt like in certain songs that I was right there in the studio with the artist. It was just so clear and I really love vocals. So for podcasts or movies, that's great. And for certain songs, vocals are absolutely amazing on the AirPods Max. The bass is a little bit lacking and I still prefer the bass on the Sony headphones because of the music that I like to listen to. So it was lacking that a little bit and I wish there was an EQ where I could just jam the bass up on the AirPods Max, but there isn't. I will say, however, that the AirPods Max do have a slightly louder soundstage with slightly better instrument separation compared to the XM4s. So for you, that might be a more enjoyable listening experience. And for me, I found that it is nice to have that larger soundstage and it does feel interesting to feel that separation between the different instruments as well as the vocal performance. It just feels like you're just closer to the overall performance, which is nice. And because there's no distortion at high volumes on the AirPods Max, it really does feel like you're getting closer to the performance when you turn the volume up. And you're going to want to turn the volume up because these headphones are actually very soft compared to the XM4s. I usually listen to my XM4s at max on either 50 or 55% volume, and that's more than enough for me, they're plenty loud. But with the AirPods Max, to just get 
a similar listening experience to my XM4s, I found that I had to be at like 65 to 70% volume. And if I wanted to start jamming out, you have to be between 75 and 85% volume. And I don't listen to my music that loud. I know a lot of other people and my friends who've gotten the AirPods Max are listening between 90 and 100% volume and it's not loud enough for them. So if you like to jam out to your music at loud volumes on the AirPods Max, maybe they're not for you because they don't actually get that loud. So what's my overall conclusion of this video? If you're watching this video, you probably already know which one you would personally pick and you're decidedly in one camp or the other, but if my opinion is going to sway you, this is for you. If you're someone that's very deep in the Apple ecosystem and you've been wanting that same sort of functionality you get from AirPods Pros in an over-ear headset, this is what you've been looking for. But in my personal opinion, these are definitely not worth the price. For $550, you could buy two XM4s or you could buy a pair of AirPods Pros and a pair of XM4s and still have money left over that speaks volumes. So these are definitely not a convenient pair of headphones. I think one of the biggest draws for a lot of people is that the AirPods, they come in this tiny case and they're super easy and convenient. You can just slip them in your pocket and they go everywhere with you. But these headphones, because the case and the inability to turn them off and the fact that they're not small and they don't really have a protective case that works and you can't really put them in your bag safely, it doesn't have that same convenience factor. The sound is good, but it's not $550 good. The noise canceling is good, but it's not mind blowing and $550 good. Apple does a lot of things good in these headphones, but it doesn't warrant the $550 price tag. And that's before tax and Apple care. After those things, you're looking more at $650 or more dollars for this set of headphones. And that's just outrageous. If these headphones were $350 or even $400, I'd say pick whichever one you prefer. The overall experience is very similar and it really just comes down to personal preference and ease of use at that point. But because these are $550 before Apple Care and tax, there is nothing that warrants that price tag. They're not convenient to use with their giant form factor and inability to actually power off. They don't have any EQ customization, which is a huge bummer. And even though they have a decent battery life of 20 hours, when you consider that they need to be powered off by putting it back in the case, and that 20 hours is going to drain real quick if you don't have the case, it starts to suffer. The MX4s have 30 hours of battery life and you can actually turn them off. So they're going to last a lot longer if you're using them on a weekly basis. I've had to charge these maybe once a week when I use them because they last that long. With the AirPods Max, I've been having to charge them once every two days because when I forget to put them back in the case, they're just turned on, sipping battery life and it's a huge pain. And on top of the ridiculous price tag these have right now is that they're sold out. You can't get them anywhere. And if you pre-ordered it not on midnight at launch day, these are going to be shipping to you in March. So who are the AirPods Max for? They're for the diehard Apple fan who loves spending money on that Apple ecosystem experience and wants to show the world that they have the newest product and flex on all of us because they have the expensive headphones. I think most people will gravitate towards the Sony XM4s because they're cheaper, they have 98% of the functionality and are better in certain ways than the AirPods Max, and with the money left over, you could buy AirPods Pros and keep those in your pocket. So that's my personal opinion, but I'd love to know what you guys think. If you are 100% Apple Camp and you think I'm being blasphemous, just roast me in the comments, or if you think I'm being reasonable and saying, hey, Maybe don't spend $550, maybe spend $279 on these amazing pair of headphones that Sony makes that are more comfortable and better in most ways. Let me know. I'd love to know your thoughts. I know this is a divisive topic, but my name has been Mark Steiner, and I'll see you next time.